Ah. Were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Come now, touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Hello again. Did you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation, from places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance. Were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us, this is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living God. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough? In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the Tower Folk, a cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the horn scent holds the earth tree in contempt. That aside, man is by nature a creature of conquest. And in this regard, the Tower Folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happen to be on the losing side of a war, but it's still a wretched shame. We are all utterly captivated by kindly Mikula. It is what binds us together. Oh, that man is known as Dane. He's been in the service of Mikula the Kind longer than I. He might be solemn of cheer, but is a fierce warrior nevertheless. There's no cause for concern. Dane's reluctance to speak to you is no fault of your own. We've been acquainted for quite some time, but even I am yet to hear his voice. Perhaps one day. Oh, hello. Did you feel it? Mikula the Kind's enchantment appears to have broken. But while my devotion to kindly Mikula remains unchanged, by my troth I am not so sure about the others. No, wait. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. I can wield my sword to cull the undeserving, those unfit to bask in tender Mikula's presence. I should have thought of this earlier. Right. It's time to begin ferreting out. Those of us who don't deserve to be at kindly Mikula's side. Tiolier. Hmm. It's true. His devotion to St. Trina is plain to see. I fear his vows to Mikula the Kind are merely secondary. But for this very reason, Tiolier is incapable of betrayal. St. Trina's love for Kai Mikula is boundless. She is, after all, his other half. Or perhaps her feelings go beyond even that. Even if she was left behind, I doubt her heart would waver. The horn scent. Hmm. On one hand, he trusts Mikula the Kind to bring salvation to his people. With the enchantment lifted, his vengeful passions may once again ignite. But surely he'd be mindful of kindly Mikula's promise. On the other hand, the horn scent does present his own dangers. Perhaps your concerns are well founded after all. Allow me some time to mull it over. Allow me some time to mull it over. Ah, 
there you are. It took me long enough, I know. But I've made my decision. I believe it wisest to eliminate the horn scent. If he were to point his blade at Sir Mesmer or Queen Marika, perhaps it would not matter. But vengeance changes a man. And one day, his blade may turn towards Mikula the Kind. Kindly Mikula is, after all, the true golden child. Even if he discards every last drop of his being, his lineage will always remain. I believe the horn scent suspects what I have in mind. He never placed his full trust in me, even under the effect of kindly Mikula's spell. He must have recognized something. The scent of the killer that slept within me. The stench of crusted blood. I will follow the horn scent. To have his revenge on Sir Mesmer, there is only one place he will go. The Black Keep. Worthy Horn Scent, I will dispose of you. Before your thirst for revenge beckons our undoing, I can no longer trust your word. In the end, time. Interfere not with my business. Zealot. What a surprise that you should join me here. I am pleased. Now go and make yourself useful. Wife. Uh, Kindly Mikula never betrays a vow. Go. Your family awaits you. You have bested me. Only. Have you been taken in by the plight of the Hornsen? Foolish, but hardly unexpected. Man is a compassionate animal, for better or worse. I expected things to end differently with you. What a pity. You have bested me. A single betrayal. Enough to turn the tides. Unfortunate. But I will leave you be. For now. Do not interfere. Ah, there you are. Well fought. You have my gratitude. He was never going to see eye to eye with us. But his words were ill-founded. It was hard to hear, I know. I know I shouldn't let myself, but I suppose it's only natural to feel the weight of one's deeds at times like these. There's plenty left to be done, and I will see to it. Who else, I wonder? I don't enjoy casting suspicion on anyone I've called a comrade, but it's a small sacrifice in the grand scheme of things. We must eradicate all doubt. Zeran's back. I will dispose of you. I find that I have a new apprehension. Your ambivalence and exactly where it might lead you. So, I do have my doubts, and will not simply lay down and die with them. Well, fancy meeting you here. I am pleased. Now go and make yourself useful. Mikola the Kind. Lord Mok. Thank you for all that you have done, Sir Ansbach. You are a force of nature. 
I'm late. Though I gladly welcome your decision, now I might even live to see the morrow. So you've chosen your side, have you? Despite having no debt to the Lord of Blood. I suppose it was Sir Ansbach who won you over. Fine. One more heart for my blade to skewer. Perhaps I should have known. Not to challenge the two of you alone. I'll take my leave. For now. Lady Leda. I should have known, not to challenge the two of you alone. I take my leave, for now. Lady Leda, I ask you keep kindly Mikola. Ah, there you are. I appreciate the help in battle. Sir Ansbach must have considered it an honorable end, being felled by your hand. After all, the good fellow held you in the highest regard. When we speak of it, we may speak with pride that we were Sir Ansbach's final adversaries. You are an odd one, aren't you? The enchantment is broken. And yet you alone appear completely unchanged. As if nothing was ever cast upon you. Hmm. No matter. If you found your way here, it was because kindly Mikula wished it so. But I am afraid this is our farewell. When next we meet, let it be under the eyes of Mikula the kind. Goodbye, comrade. I'm afraid this is our farewell, comrade. When next we meet, let it be under the eyes of Mikula the Kind. Ah, oh, I thought I'd see you here. It's been quite some time. <laughs> it was never kindly Mikula, was it? The Ur Tree was leading you all along, so that you might ascend to Lordship. I come to these lands to begin with. I suppose it must be what his eminence, or perhaps the Ertree, desired all along. The clashing of the favored lords. Such that one would prevail. So be it. If you insist upon facing Mikula the Kind, then I will run you through whoever you might be. Don't tarry now. Don't you dare approach Mikula the Kind. Needle Knight Leder, Dryleaf Dane, and our allies will never allow this. Needle Knight Leder, Dryleaf Dane, and our ally will never allow this. Dignity of my lord and master, Moog. I am sorry for speaking to you as a compatriot when we stood before the Withered Arm. By way of apology, I will reveal the marrow of my sword. Its needles that will stick you into death. I can't fathom your convictions. After knowing kindly Mikula, what remains of pledge to your Lord of Blood? I will stop Mikula the Kind. He will never become a god. Tiolie, I seem to have made a poor judgment about you, or perhaps Centrina. Kindly, Mikula, make the world a gentler place. With this battle I send you on, 
It was an honor to face a worthy lord. Now go. 